Hi guys, this is Sharad here again. Today I wanted to introduce one of the my favorite topic, difference between JSON and Toon architecture. So today I'll just give you the brief information about the Toon architecture because JSON, I think a lot of people knows about the JSON architecture. So we are diving into the two important things, formats like a JSON and Toon architecture. While JSON is something most developers are familiar with, but Toon which stand for the token oriented object notation is more specialized architecture that combines object oriented principles with the efficient token based data representation. JSON has been the go to format for web APIs and configuration files for year. It, it is simple, human readable and gets the job done for the most application. But the Toon architecture, we need to understand, but the Toon architecture takes a different approach. What is the approach? It is a just designed for the scenario where we can manage performance, efficiencies, and type safety are critical. Think, just think the real-time gaming example or IoT device. We have some limited uh, bandwidth and or high-frequency trading platform where we operate a millisecond. Every byte matters for us. But today we'll, we'll give json brief overview since most most of you probably know it is already but we are going to spend most of our time exploring toon architecture how it works why it matters and when you should consider using it let's start it so my next slides fourth thing i just want to talk about the json so everybody's you guys know but then we can just revise it you can see my the second slide also json is nothing but uh, json script object notation so why it is famous four things it is a human readable like you can open a json file in any text editor immediately understand the data structure that's a great for debugging and manual editing and second point is a, like a language independent we can use any language like we can use python we can use java c sharp go these are the main language main libraries which pass the data and generate a json and the third point is a very important hierarchical structure uh, with object represented by the curly braces and arrays of the square bracket and you can nest these structures as deeply as you need and fourth point is very important every key is a string in the course and every value needs formatting this makes json file larger than you need to be um, but the trade-off is simplicity and flexibility so you would have seen the json file like a, some address example one of the address valuable contains all the address information like unit number street number street uh, name suburb and postcode everything it contains but it's a one attribute so that's a understanding about the json but also we need to understand what is a problem when we understand the problem then we can discuss about the tune architecture why the industry is adopting a tune the problem with the json is that in it's inefficient for the high performance scenarios it needs to be passed character by character that we need to understand when we pass it needs to be passed character by character and converted from text to data structures and validated at the runtime for web bi for web api this is fine but when you need millisecond response like when you take the example for the gaming or it devices or you are working with the thousands of message per second json starts to slow its limitation because the json reads character by character then tune architecture comes into the picture and these tune architecture try to resolve this problem and it gives a um, for the flexibility for the performance so now i'll move into the my third slide so third slide i just put it all the four principle so if you understand to an architecture four core principle like a token based representation object oriented design and efficient parsing and type safety so if we understand these four points to at least when we go to the industry when we go for the interview so at least we can discuss what is a tune tune because a lot of people don't know what is a tune so tune first of all definitely is a uh, token oriented object notation and the first principle is token based representation what is the meaning everything is represented as a tokens so what happened token is a discrete unit of data with semantic meaning unlike json where you have text that needs to be parsing but tone tune uses predefined tokens type think of them like a i'll give some example 
and uh, each token has a specific type identifier and known structure when you pass toon data you are reading these tokens sequentially which is a much faster than parsing text for example instead of a string name like a name uh, colon jo john and you have a name token with type id x03 followed by a string token containing john the parser knows the exactly what to exit for the each to token type so here i'm just giving example so jason we have a proper name but in the name in the tune we are putting some token we are giving some value like 0x03 so it will be very easy to parse the data and the second principle i just want to talk about the object oriented design what is object oriented design we would have studied in our university like c++ programming polymorph film encapsulation and these uh, these kind of thing we already studied so now these kind of the principle we are using into the tune architecture so tune embraces object oriented programming principle it is a architecture level this means encapsulation data and methods are bundled together it means inheritance you can define base token types and extend them and it means polymorphism different token types can be processed throughout the same in interference this is crucial because it means tune is not just about storing data it is about the representing object with behavior a user token does not just contain user data it it can have validation method Sequential logic and business rules and baked right in. So that we need to understand what is a uh, oops for uh, understanding for the tune. Because here we are using all the concept about the polymorphism inheritance, and these are the thing for the second principle. And third one is a uh, parsing. How should we understand the parsing between JSON and the tune? Tune is just optimized for the machine processing. not human reading the data is typically binary with fixed length headers and predictable structure this means parser can read through tune data in a single pass with a minimum overlap overhead no string allocation no character by character stacking no converting string to number in performant test tune parsing can be 10 to 50 time faster than json parsing depending on the implementation so definitely we need to first understand the json and, and tune how we can replicate from json to tune then what will happen when we implement the so tune will be 50 time faster than json and my fourth principle is type safety what is the type safety tune provides compile time type safety through schema definition before you can serialize or deserialize tune data define a schema similar to protocol buffers or thread the schema specify exactly what token type exists what fields they contain what data types those fields use this means error are caught at the compile time or run time if you try to access a field that does not exist your code won't compile this eliminate entire categories of the bugs and play json based system so this is a my understanding of tune architecture about the four principle i am 100% sure if you read this ppt and you learn lot of thing about the tune architecture and the last slide i just want to talk about the fourth point about my four layer thing what is a four layer fourth layer is first layer is the token ar uh, architecture token layer this is a foundation at this level we have atomic data units like a primitive like integer float string blue booleans plus reference to other token but each token has a header with the type of information and length followed by payload data for example int token token might be 5 bytes and 1 byte for the type id 4 bytes for the uh, integer value a string token would have variable length like 1 byte type id 2 byte for the string length and then string bytes but the token layer is designed to be platform independent but defined by ordering and alignment rules this means tune data serialized on one system can be deserialized on the other system without compatibility issue so that thing we need to understand one system we can serialize like and we can define the architecture layer and the another system we can deserialize the same value so this is a beauty of the architecture and the my second point layer 2 object layer what is object layer uh, 
This is where things get interesting. Object layer composes tokens into meaningful entities. Object with properties and method. A, a user object, for instance, I'll just give the example, would be composed of several tokens and ID token, name token, email token, and so on. Here is why. There is a, not just a passive data containers. A tune architecture of this can have behavior. They can validate themselves, transform their data, and enforce business rules. This is a true object-oriented design applied to data serialization. The object layer handles encapsulation. You don't access individual token directly. You access object property through well-defined interface, and this abstraction lets you change the internal token representation without breaking consuming code. Thus, uh, understanding about the object layer. And my third point is schema layer. What is schema layer? Schema layer defines the structure of your data at the design time. Because when you implement some, something, first you have to design your data. So you write a schema definition, often as in like DSL or IDL, that specifies objects as to exist, what property they have, and what constraint apply. The schema is compiled into code that performs validation and provide type safe accessory. This is similar how protocol buffers or Apache ever work. But two schemas are more expressive because they support oops like inheritance and polymorphism. So if someone understands the inheritance polymorphism abstraction concept, they can easily understand the tune architecture. So my last point, I just want to talk about the my fourth point, then I'll finish off my lecture because it's crossing more than 12 minutes. The last thing is serialization layer. Finally, the serialization layer handles encoding and decoding. This is a pipeline that converts in memory object to byte streams and vice versa. Toon serialization is highly optimized. It uses binary encoding with the minimum overhead and no field name, string, no interleminate, no escaping. The deserialization reads the token type, knows the expect structure from the schema or directly in populous object fields. Many implementations also support features like lazy deserialization where you only pass the part of data you actually access and zero copy deserialization where you can read data directly from the byte buffer without copying the new objects. So this is my understanding. So this is which you now I want to share. If you like my video, please share with your friends and, and subscribe it. Thank you. Bye.